really like to see race Ryan there. I think he'll be an upgrade from Rob Ryan. You know, I think he just didn't have a good feel for, you know, when to blitz. He, he just got blitz happy to, and he got us in a lot of trouble. But hey, hey, how many Ryans is enough? Hey, hey. hey, we had a hard enough time to buzz with those with the Eagles. As long as you get the right one. Hey, I'm gonna be real though. With with that, with the kind of talent that we have on defense in terms of the secondary and, and the kind of blitz we could bring, mm -hmm. I really feel like he's the perfect fit. I just Welcome to another session with them Dennis boys. It's your boy B. Debo. EJ. We come to talk to y'all, man, about these offensive coordinators, man, trying to fill this position that we got vacant right now. Um, they're looking at uh, Aiden Durden, who's our D-line coach currently. Looking at Mike Zimmern, who, are, uh, who used to be with us, you know, at, at one point in time. Ron Rivera and uh, old Rex Ryan. So what y'all gentlemen think about it? Well... I mean, I have some emotions about at least two of these candidates. Um, Zimmer would be a retread for us because he's coached with us before. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a, has had a marginal amount of success uh, with the Cowboys as well as the uh, Vikings. And I believe there was one more team he coached with. But um, I, I wouldn't be either opposed or for Zimmer. Um, He's like I said, he's had marginal amount of success. I don't know if he is the one. Um, Durden, I don't really have a, um opinion about. I don't know of him that well. Um, Rex Ryan, I've got lots of opinions about. Um, he's a very knowledgeable coach. He's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, he's coached with several different teams under several different head coaches, as well as being a head coach. Uh, which would seem enough experience for someone of this position. Uh, how he would fit in with the Dallas Cowboys remains a question. Uh, my main concern with him is in most places that he was at, and particularly as a head coach, he wasn't a winner. So um, with the exception of, I think it was one year, he had a, had a good winning season. But that would be... Um, one of my concerns, not that it has any bearing upon his ability to do the defensive coordinator job, but uh, that would weigh in. Uh, Ron Rivera, a uh, very well-respected coach. Um, he's had a marginal amount of success uh, in his early years coaching. Uh, lately, not so much, but he still has respect of the league in terms of his knowledge and ability and his uh uh, pension for being able to motivate his players as a players coach. So mm -hmm. uh, he would be a decent high. I would respect that. But if you had me, uh, lastly, it would probably be Al Harris. Um, he's a Dallas Cowboy favorite, a fan favorite, a, a team favorite, and all the above. Um, my only question with Al Harris would be, does he have the wherewithal to do the full job as a defense coordinator? We know him as probably the best uh, secondary coach in the league, but um, does he have the knowledge and the wherewithal to coach outside of that box? Hmm. Okay. All right, well, I guess i go next. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk about, you know, the people that I'm interested in. I guess um, <laughs> number one would be Rex Ryan. Yeah. Uh, the reason I say this is because – I feel like he sat out for, for a good amount of years. He's seen the game evolve outside of what he already knows. Um, I think with the talent that we have, he has sat back and seen what he could do to, to, to make us succeed. Like if you ever see him speak, you see the, like 
the passion behind like he's be disappointed at the Thanks. stuff that we got going on so it's like he's like man what can i do for so for his name to surface mm -hmm. i think that's a really big thing for us like i really think that that's the direction we should go in mm -hmm. um yeah i'm just happy because he's like he's one of those coaches that blitzes something so mm -hmm. i think we need that type of passion on the team to, to actually just bring that to the table uh my number two will probably be i'll probably have to go out here as number two mm. and the reason being is because he's young he has a better mindset in terms of uh, uh, uh the new the new day and age uh i think that's what the league is moving anyway um i i think that's probably our best bet in terms of overall substantial and, and longevity um three ron rivera mm, i only reason only way i would go with ron rivera because i know he got a lot of health issues going if he was the last option and i to me i zimmer he's not really an option for me that's just my opinion okay Hey, it's your opinion, brother. So we here. He knows offer your opinion. Right. Um, I'm gonna start with Zimmer. Um, I'm not putting these in uh, kind of I'm gonna put in order, but right now I'm gonna start with the ones that I'm not I don't want to personally choose. Uh Zimmer, I would be okay with it if they, we went with that that direction, but Ray Ron would be better. But I'm saying, but for Zimmer bars, I know he he does blitz more than we we usually do. He does blitz in 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 Minnesota, he was blitzing a lot more than we we usually do. So I do like that. Um, and they have been pretty successful with the you know the talent that they did have there in Minnesota as well. So I'm cool with that. And he, he is also familiar with our organization. Uh, Ron Rivera, he has a good tenure, you know, throughout the league. You know, he has a good reputation, player players coach and whatnot. Uh, defense has always been solid with him when he has the personnel, and we do have the personnel. So I like that fit for sure. Dirty. It's too many unknowns with him. The only good thing about that is the likelihood of some innovation, you know, that can come with him, um, especially him being a, a, a international fellow. So uh, he probably will bring something new um, out, outside the box that could be beneficial for us. So, I mean, I would be open to it uh, if they did do that. But uh, the two legitimate cat candidates, like Debo said, Rex Ryan and Al Harris. Al Harris, I like it because he – he coaching the most consistent unit on our team. You know what I'm saying? These guys have been flying high the whole time he's been there. Um, and I like to see that same consistency throughout the defense. And I think he can bring that culture, you know, with them. Uh, but when it comes to Rex Ryan, I mean, when he was with the Jets, man, the boys were straight dominant defensive. Like they had, uh, what's his name? Um, butt fumble as their quarterback, taking them to the AFC championships. So three years in a row. Sanchez. 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 So that lets you know how dominant their defense was. So I, I would really like to see Rex Ryan there. I think he'll be an upgrade from Rob Ryan. You know, he, I think he just didn't have a good feel for, you know, when to blitz. He, he just got blitz happy to, and he got us in a lot of trouble. But hey, hey, how many Ryans is enough? Hey, hey, we had a hard enough time to buzz with those with the. As long as you get the right one. Hey, yeah. but I'm be real though with with that with the kind of talent that we have on defense in terms of the secondary, and and the kind of blitz we could bring. Mm -hmm. I really feel like he's the perfect fit. I just that's just my opinion though. I, mean, I agree. Yeah, I mean, as far as the candidates out there. I have a question for both of y'all. Mm -hmm. um, both of y'all spoke highly um, of Al Harris. What about Al Harris gives you guys? the uh, inkling that he could do the full scope of the job. I mean, we only know him as a secondary coach. Uh, besides him being a players coach and uh, an excellent secondary coach, what about him that makes you guys think he can do the full scope of the job? I mean, go ahead, Debo. <laughs> I, I was gonna kill that out because I was gonna tell you. I said, "What? What? Yeah, you jump quicker than me. So go ahead. <laughs> I wonder hey. Why I think you don't? <laughs> what? What? what I, major boy I, 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 I can answer that. What major boy killing more? Uh, uh, a candidate for offensive coordinator. Yeah, that fast. Word right. about. And, and, and let and let alone head coaching job. I mean, he's been mentioned and he ain't even proved nothing. So, to me, it ain't a, even really about whether he could do the job. It's just the pre the people who who uh, uh i guess 
I'm trying to think what's the word I want to use. Who pretty much has a bond with your team. Like you need the people who can fill out your players and know how to adjust, what to adjust to. You know the game. So it's not that you can't fulfill. It's just you want to know, can you reach these players when it's time and when it's in, in time of need? Mm-hmm. That's what it is with me. I mean, I feel you on that too. I mean, and you like I said, the familiarity, you know, with being already in the organization and my, his track record. He was a great player, right? He was a great position coach. So why not? I mean, and Kelly Moore won none of that. <laughs> Basically, y'all don't know because you haven't we really. Do. Asked we do. Nobody, know. nobody never knows when a guy, when a first, a first time coordinator played. I mean, you, he's put in position. You have, you, don't know. you have some idea when you've got some background to go with. Al Harris has no background as a defensive. Player. So, think, uh, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. What what, what background did Kellen Moore have? His reputation as a as an offense. What reputation? He was a quarterback coach. Assistant. He, he was a quarterback he, coach. He was a backup somebody, quarterback for one. Evidently, somebody saw enough in his ability as a quarterback coach. He probably was help, uh, helping draw up plays. We don't know that. Al could be doing the same thing. He could be helping in the passing game. And I'm gonna be real. I mean, and that's a whole separate conversation that you know we could have. So we leave it yeah. where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm I'll, I'll I'll just put y'all down for um no comment. I mean, I just like I just like. Oh, I had a comment. <laughs> I, just, I just think that's what I got. Y'all give me a reason yet. Yeah. I'm still no, he just deserved the opportunity. I mean, why, why not? All the other guys get the fast track, you know, and, and jump line and stuff like that. So why not? Why not give him that opportunity? A lot of them guys jump track. He's been in the position for, for multiple years. For one, and succeed. for one, the Dallas Cowboys is in a position right now where we can't afford to be guessing and 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 giving people this opportunity. We got to be as reasonably sure as possible what we putting on the table what, for more reasons than one. With all, well, Go I'm ahead, saying, yeah. but with all these candidates that you're that we're that we have named, it's all chances. It's all chances. But at least so you man, have some. At least you have some background on some of them in terms of their record, in terms of their let me uh, experience in the league. We I'm have no great example. I'm gonna give you a great example. Right, recent and current, Demarco Ryan. Right, right. He just got finished playing. He just <laughs> got finished playing. playing. So. Great Antonio player, Pierce. great player, great position coach, great coordinator. Right. Antonio well, Pierce. What did you say? Was that, was that last word you say? Great coordinator, correct? Correct. Exactly. But he, what was he before? What was the two, the two steps prior, sir? Well, he has right. experience as a coordinator. Al Harris. We're, we're not asking him to be a remember, we're not asking him to be a head coach, asking him to be a coordinator. So he's going right. from position coach, which most players do, go to being a coordinator. Exactly. He's not Same skipping thing no killing me. He ain't skipping so no y'all, so y'all, y'all just want to promote uh Al Harris from position coach to head coach. Yeah, why no, not? That's not what you know, the coordinator. He's gonna be a coordinator. Coordinator. But that was and, and I mean, to like and Tommy to, okay, and I'm gonna tell you how another way to look at it too. This is a passing league now, so if I trust anything for somebody to be in a coordinator, a defensive coordinator. I wanted to be a cornerback coach because you know what you know what you want your cornerbacks to do. Mm-hmm. Now you can play with it now because now I get to play with the whole defense. Now I get to see what I can make, how I can make a reaction. So mm-hmm. I'm saying, so that's that's something I would like to see. I really yeah, would play like into your corner strength, like right. My D, my D corner wasn't doing exactly. it. You're playing you damn wrong with man corners. It's just like it's just like throwing an open basketball. Like you you want to see somebody slam dunk it, right? But you want to make sure somebody, whoever it is, got the ups to be with the dunk. Exactly. We got, we got them. So <laughs> right. I, 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 I'm not opposed to it. So I, you, you second on my list, sir. Yeah. So, but on that note, man, that's our spill on these coordinators, man. But we appreciate y'all joining us for this session, and we're gonna catch y'all next time.